Hi guys, welcome. Today we are going to talk about robot framework. Robot framework originated in NS and Nokia Siemens network in 2005. It became open source in 2008. It's a keyword driven framework for end to end acceptance testing. It's implemented with Python. It runs also on Jython and Iron Python. It can be extended natively using Python or Java, easy to use, tabular format for creating test cases, can create high level keyword from existing keywords. This we will talk in subsequent session. Reports are there in form of HTML. It also provide XML report, support data driven testing, Tagging for categorization and selection of test cases. It's a very good feature. You can tag the test case. You can do a selective run with the help of tagging. It has large set of standards and external libraries which allow to test various applications, almost all the application in and around to you. Standard libraries are part of standard robot framework installation, whereas external library you need to install externally so let's talk about high level architecture of the robot framework first come test data this we are feeding into the robot framework robot framework internally uses its inbuilt libraries that is standard libraries then if required it will call to the test libraries that is the api that this that is external libraries basically you are implementing in Jython, Python or Java or any other language and those internally call internally communicate to tools the tools here we are referring to third party tools some some of your application might require to communicate with the third party tools then it will communicate to, to tools first and then it will communicate to a system under test test if not there is if not it means that if there is no third party tool then it will directly communicate to system under test so how it translate into the execution basically a test case is a file and that file is called test suit a test suit can have n number of test cases a test case consists of keywords and keywords is called with arguments keywords are inbuilt or user defined or it can be written in python or jython robot framework will execute the test case until it reaches the exception if exception occur it will fail the test case if not then it will pass the test case it will generate the html report and the command line result so now what is test suit test suit is the collection of test cases so a test suit is basically a file or a directory so directly basically we are using to group the similar kind of a suits basically in an application and the text file basically or a file or it can be other file also html file also because robot framework support robot tsv text and html file as a part of suit creation So you can see that on the top of level there is a suit called demo. Under demo I am having a suit that is called demo1 that is also a directory. Under demo1 I am having two suits basically demo2 and demo test and these are basically files. Now let's come to keywords. There are two types of keyword basically. One is library keywords, another is user defined keywords. Library keywords are basically the keywords or function you are implementing in the external programming language that is uh, either Python, Jython, or Java, whatever it is, and those you are importing in your test case or in test suit. These are called low level keywords. If you can see that uh, I have created one function that is called generate to random number that is part of mathsops.py file implemented in python 
that and these are called low level keywords now second comes to user defined keyword right what is user defined keyword basically user defined keyword is a combination of the library keyword plus the standard library keywords the standard library keywords or a standard library is uh, a part of robot framework installation basically and it comes with the robot framework core frame robot framework core framework so you can see that i have created one user defined keyword that is called multiplication of random number it uses library keyword generate to random number which is in the which is a python function and it uses a evaluate function which is a keyword in the inbuilt library so you can see that uh, multiplication of random number you can see that evaluate evaluate is the built-in function of uh, built-in keyword and generate to random random number is part of maths ops dot py and the this maths ops dot py i have sourced here as a part of library now come to test libraries what are the test libraries basically one library is the api basically we are talking about that is implemented in the python jython java or whatever it is and other is other library is user defined library basically you can say that the file which is a collection of user defined keywords that we will talk later first let's talk about the library that is external library like it is implemented in python jython or java so this mathsofts.py it's external library so if you can see that i have imported this here so you can see that add import function add import uh, string is the uh, text is there underneath there is a button called library so i can just click on library i can browse that particular file and i can source that file once i source that file that function related to that file uh, will be available to me other method is i can do a import uh, uh, library that is inbuilt keyword again you can see that uh, utility of that keyword is basically is a import library then you can provide the path of that library and if external argument is there you can specify the extra, uh, extra argument to that also i'm just removing it and i'm saving it back so let's talk about the standard libraries libraries standard libraries are uh, part of robot framework installation these are built in operating system string dialog remote telnet collection screenshot xml date time process etc so these are the part of the standard installation then now come to external library there are lots of external libraries basically the android library anywhere library apm library auto it database library selenium library selenium 2 library selenium library for java http swing etc these are not part of standard installation but they are available free of cost we can download and we can install it and with the help of these library we can automate almost all the application in and around us you can see that it's a very rich robot framework is having very rich support for the automation now let's come to the variables there are two types of variable basically scalar variable and list variable scalar variable is similar something like we are defining scalar variable in the python file and list variable is something like you are defining list in the python file so we can quickly check that how we can create the scalar variable you can see that i have created test 22 and i specified value 22 this is scalar variable and this is list variable i can say that test 33 i can specify value 22 24 20 222 to so this is about list variable and scalar variable that's all in the first video next video we will talk about how to write the robot framework test case